Oops, I think one of our pets has got a fishbone stuck in her paw. Can you help us look after her? Click on play and join the fun with Kitty Kira. Hi, Kira. Oh no, Kira, have you got a fishbone stuck in your paw while you were playing with Max in the garden? Don't worry, I'll try to get it out. Ouch, oh, it really hurts. The wound might be infected. So I can't really help you. We'll have to take you to the vet and not waste any more time. Hi, Kitty Kira. I hadn't seen you since we had to take those mites off you. But I can see you're here with a different problem today. Did you get a fishbone stuck in your paw while playing? Does it hurt? Okay, lucky I've treated lots of kitties like you, so I can definitely help you. To get the fishbone out, I need you to be brave and strong, Kira. Can you do that for me? Good job, bring your paw up. Ready? Let's do this. It's stuck really deep, but I'm almost done. I'm gonna throw this fishbone away. Oh no, Kira, you can't lick it now. Since it's infected, it's dangerous if your mouth touches it. So you'll need this e-collar. That way you won't be hurting yourself, even if it's annoying. Are you comfy? Great. Bring your paw up again. I'm going to clean the wound with disinfected soap. I know it stings a bit, but this is good for you. Now the infection won't be spreading. Now I'm going to apply this regenerative cream with antibiotic. It'll get rid of all the dangerous bacteria. We just need to bandage the paw to let it heal. Good job. You've been such a good kitty, Kira. <laughs> Thank God you've got the e-collar already. That way you can't lick your paw, nor untie the bandage, even when your instinct pushes you to try and do that. <laughs> Kira, now you know how to help a kitty with a stuck fishbone. Hi, Lily. Hi, Kira. I see you are all ready for this year's first ballet class. Oops, what's wrong, Kira? You should be really happy. Ah, I see. Lily has a new outfit, and you want one too. <laughs> I don't blame you. Lily's new look is super colorful. Do you want to have a look in the closet and see if we have something there for you? We can also put some makeup on you. Great! Let's not waste time. The ballet classes are about to start. Ready to turn into a rainbow dancer? Let's see what's in the closet. Wow, that's so cool. These are very colorful clothes. Let's start with the leotards. Now, time for the tutu. I'm sure it's going to be your favorite part of the outfit. <laughs> It's also very shiny with all that glitter, just like you like it. Look, with these leg warmers, you'll be able to dance anywhere you want. But the final touch for a full rainbow ballet outfit is the makeup. Let's go to the beauty salon. Ready for a change of look? First, you need the foundation. You know what you have to do, right, Kira? Good job! If you close your eyes, you won't get any powder in them. Now, some eyeshadow. But since we want it to be a rainbow, we are going to need to soak it in all the colors. <laughs> this eye first, now the other one. Perfect! And a beautiful kitty can't go without some mascara. Now your eyelashes will look long and big! Do you want lipstick for your lips? <laughs> That's what I thought! You look incredible! 
But there's still one last surprise left. I think it's here somewhere. A princess hairband. Wow! You're going to be the prettiest dancing kitty in all of Toon Toon! <laughs> Don't worry, Lily. Here's a hairband for you as well. <laughs> you are ready for your first day of ballet. Yay! Hi, Lily. Hi, Kira. <laughs> so cool, Lily. You have a microphone. Are you thinking about becoming a music star? <laughs> so cool. Though, this needs lots of preparation. You'll need to figure out the music genre of your songs. <laughs> the look your clothes and hair will have. Yay! Ah, of course. We can play with the roulette and choose a music genre to dress you up. <laughs> These are the options. Classical music. Rock. Rap. Or electronic music. <laughs> Let's see what you get. <laughs> I can't wait to see you on stage or on the front cover of all the magazines. <laughs> wow, you're going to be rock stars. <laughs> rock is a type of music with lots of rhythm and super fun. Also, rock fans are really loyal, which means they'll follow you everywhere you go. We need to dress you so your concerts are breathtaking. <laughs> I think we need to focus on your look having leather clothes. But you also need to be able to move around the stage freely. Something really important is your accessories. They'll help you have a unique image and everyone will know who you are at first sight. And these fake tattoos will make you look really tough. <laughs> Lastly, you'll need something for your head. This will do. Wow, Lily, you look amazing. <laughs> Do you know what instrument you want to play yet? So cool! You're going to be the keyboard player! Let's turn you into the best rocker kitty in the world! First, we need to get some really flashy leotards! You'll also need a leather jacket like this one! And with this tutu, everyone will know who you are! Let's see what else we've got around here. Oh, this glove with glitter is great. And with these boots, you'll be rocking all over the place. <laughs> Lastly, you'll wear a hairband with studs. The perfect accessory for a rock star. Wow, you are super incredible. Come on, girls. One, two, one, two, three, and... That's it! Let's rock! <laughs> Hi, Kira! Hi, Supermax! Look, Kira, you can also become a superheroine! You can save Tintin City from the bad guys. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? Max is our friend. <coughs> oh, I know. You want to be a villain. <laughs> I think you just got an opponent, Max. Huh? Hey, guys, would you like to dress up as villains? Who's your favorite one? Let us know in the comments. Are you ready for your new costume? Let's see what's in the wardrobe! Your costume is going to be so cool! 
first, we put on these trousers. And now, this t-shirt to complete your suit. Hey, Kira, why did you want this costume? You want to look up Alex and Lily so you can always be the one who tries on new costumes? <laughs> We'd better put on these gloves. This way you'll be able to control your power and not electrocute everyone. <laughs> and lastly, we put on this cape. It always looks great and adds an evil touch. <laughs> No. This is quite the outfit! Now you look like a proper villain! Did you know that a villain's colours are usually black, green and purple? That's why your costume looks like this! It represents wickedness, power and resistance! The time has come to face the Toontoon City superheroes! Ready? Everyone is finally together! <laughs> Meet the evil Kira! <laughs> Be careful! She has the power of electrokinesis and she can use electricity to... <laughs> <laughs> I think Kira isn't capable of doing anything evil! You can play heroes and villains! <laughs> If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family.